They're the moments when fantasy is broken by reality. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fourth wall breaks in film. But it's Miramax, so I'm sure it'll be Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, you know, they put them in a bunch of movies. For this list, we're focusing on moments in movies where the characters interact with the audience in some way. And we're awarding extra points the more creative the communication is. If you look for it, you can see these little dots come into the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In the industry, we call them cigarette burns. We're excluding moments that involve hitting or breaking the camera, as well as found footage film. <laughs> Number 10, Turkey in Shower Goggles, Cuffs. We start our countdown with a film about a slacker turned cop. Oh, by the way, uh, my name is George Cuffs. I've known her for about six months. Christian Slater plays a guy who's never worked an honest day in his life. But what he lacks in experience, he more than makes up for in attitude. And luckily, he shares his innermost thoughts with us directly on a regular basis. And turkey is his favorite food, so surprise, surprise, I'm going to cook this for him. And then I'm going to try and squeeze him for another loan, but uh, let's keep that between you and me for now. That Things get really weird, however, when we meet him while he's in the shower. Hey! Well, Maya's coming to dinner. I guess the flowers work, huh? I'm going to get out of my bathroom. Number nine, dealing with rejection, Airplane. As you could probably guess, there are a lot of comedy films on this list. This classic parody movie opens with main character Ted meeting his former girlfriend as she's about to leave on a plane. I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different, like it was in the beginning. Dealing with rejection is never easy, but Ted takes it in stride, especially since he's got the audience there to listen to his deep thoughts on the matter. What a pisser. Number eight, a countdown list within a countdown list, High Fidelity. This comedy drama sees its lead character treat his audience like a personal therapist. And in doing so, he exhibits an eerily familiar habit. All time, top five most memorable breakups in chronological order. Wait, only top five, Rob? You couldn't do the full 10? Hey, Rob, you asshole! On second thought, never mind. Pretty much throughout all of High Fidelity, we get a taste of this guy's love life as he goes through the specifics of how his relationship started and fell apart. We're just missing that shrink's couch to lay down on. But there seems to be an element of that afternoon and everything that's happened to me since. All my romantic stories are a scrambled version of that first one. Number seven, hater meets creator, Annie Hall. Don't you just hate it when you get stuck next to one of those know-it-all critics who won't shut up? It's like Samuel Beckett. You know, I admire the technique, but it, it doesn't it doesn't hit me on a gut level. I'd like to and hit this guy on a gut that. level. Stop it, Albie. You know? Well, Annie Hall director and lead actor Woody Allen certainly knows how to stick it to him. What do you do when you get stuck what? on a movie line with a guy like this behind you? Wait a minute, why can't it's I give my maddening. opinion? This is a free country. He, he, he can give you, you yeah. have to give it so loud. I mean, aren't you ashamed to pontificate like that? Then if the guy thinks he knows so much about media theorist Marshall McLuhan, then bring out media theorist Marshall McLuhan to prove him wrong. Oh, I, heard, I heard what you were saying. You, you know nothing of my work. You mean my whole fallacy is wrong. How you ever got to teach a course in anything is totally amazing. Boy, if life were only like this. Mind you, this was before YouTube comments were invented. Number six, choose your own ending, Wayne's World. This classic Mike Myers flick is packed with fourth wall breaks from start to finish. My name is Wayne Campbell. I live in Aurora, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. Excellent. And we gotta say, the breaks get weirder as the film progresses. And by weirder, we mean self-referential and meta. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. But perhaps the most interesting break comes at the end, where Wayne and Garth go through possible conclusion scenarios and let the viewer decide which one's best. As if. As if we'd end the movie like that. Sure. Let's do the Scooby-Doo ending. Good call. 
Before we go any further, since we're in the middle of the list, we should probably play this clip. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the middle of the film. Okay, back to the countdown. Number five, get on with it, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This classic film from the iconic British comedy troupe also has its fair share of fourth wall moments. When suddenly, the animator suffered a fatal heart attack. <laughs> The cartoon peril was no more. But we're giving the nod to that other scene. Do you think this scene should have been cut? We were so worried when the boys were writing it. But now we're glad. It's better than some of the previous scenes, I think. This scene was, in fact, removed from the original VHS version of the film in order to avoid negative backlash. Lucky for us, it was restored in the 1996 special edition, as well as later DVD releases. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. It's worth noting that these characters hadn't even been introduced into the film's plot by this point. Get on with it. All right, all right already. Number four, how to wrap things up, kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Many films that use narration also have some fourth wall moments, and this one's no exception. How about a film goer? Have you solved the case of the, the dead people in LA? Times Square audiences, please don't shout at the screen and stop picking it, that'll just get worse. We gotta say we love this one, but that's not why this film gets the fourth spot. No, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang ranks so high thanks to its closing scene, where Robert Downey Jr. tries to come up with a farewell for the audience. Uh, anyhow, so, um, thanks for coming. Thanks for taking the trip to LA with me. Don't worry, this isn't a spoiler. I mean, if I had to, to sum it up, and I do, because, you know, it's like the end, um, I would say that this movie is about, it's about friendship. Number three, welcome to Alfie's world, Alfie. Whether it's the 1966 Michael Caine original, which opens with a doozy of a fourth wall break. My name is Alfie. Alfie. I suppose you think you're gonna see the bleeding titles now. Or the 2004 Jude Law remake with the more awkward break moments. I think this just might be my favorite position. Both versions of this film are replete with sex and interactions that break the fourth wall. What she don't know is, we won't be seeing much more of her. She's on her way out. Focused around a carefree ladies' man whose lifestyle choices come back to haunt him, this film's breaks give viewers a glimpse at the innermost thoughts Alfie is only comfortable sharing with us. That night in the bar, I thought I was getting something for nothing. Doesn't seem to have worked out that way, does it? Number two, the latest in VHS technology, Spaceballs. Instant cassettes. They're out in stores before the movie is finished. Ah. Now here's a break that's truly unique because it's part of the plot. After the villains lose track of the heroes, one colonel comes up with a plan to find them. Pardon me, sir. I have an idea. Colonel, get me the video cassette of Spaceballs the movie. Yes, sir. Looking through the VHS of the very film they're in, Evil Dark Helmet comes across a scene that's a little too familiar. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. And of course, the plot is able to advance by rewinding the video. Where? It's the moon of Vega. Good work. Set a course and prepare for our arrival. When? 1900 hours, by sir. By high noon tomorrow, they will be our prisoners. Oh! Before we break through to our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jay and Silent Bob movie? Who would pay to see that? I suggest you don't worry about this sort of thing and just enjoy yourself. That goes for you all, too. Yes. Parfois, le vendredi soir, Amélie va au cinéma. J'aime bien me retourner dans le noir et contempler le visage des autres spectateurs. People pay good money to see this movie. When they go out to a theater, they want cold sodas, hot popcorn, and no monsters in the projection booth. If I were you, I'd run the rest of Gremlins too, right now. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. You're not the contents of your wallet. You're not your f***ing khakis. You were the all singing, all dancing crap of the world. Number one. Never question Bueller, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Jeannie, please don't be upset with me. You have your health, be thankful. 
Taking the top spot is the classic Matthew Broderick film about skipping school. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. Making a fine note about his intentionally bad sick kid performance, the film starts off with advice to the audience on how to skip school. You fake a stomach cramp, and when you're bent over, moaning and wailing, you lick your palms. And if you were smart enough to stick around the theater after the end credits, you're greeted with this priceless gem. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Probably not. We know someone out there is about to type, how is that five second clip from Hot Tub Time Machine not on this list, in the comments section. Strictly speaking, I'm never supposed to do this. But have you got a better idea? But still, let us know when you liked being spoken to from the big screen. And for more groundbreaking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Don't forget to validate your parking. And uh, for all of you good people in the Midwest, I'm sorry we said so much. Say goodnight. Thanks again. Now go. Vanish.